With regard to angiomenoblastic T-cell lymphoma, up until now, our treatment has been uh, to use a treatment that is basically what we use for all the other types of T-cell lymphoma. Um, and that's a, a treatment that uh, was published by the Nordic Group, and um, which includes uh, six cycles of CHOP or CHOP plus atopocyte chemotherapy followed by consolidation with an autologous stem cell transplant. Um, and I think that that is still what we co would consider to be our standard of care for the majority of patients um, who, are, who have newly diagnosed angiomenoblastic T-cell lymphoma. Um, there's one caveat to that, and that's the patients who have CD30 positive disease. Um, as uh, now that we have the data from the Echelon 2 study, patients um, with angiomenoblastic T cell lymphoma were eligible for that study, that provided they had CD30 positivity. And so if I had a patient who had um, CD30 positive angiomenoblastic T cell lymphoma, I would consider them giving them um, brentuximab plus CHP as per uh, the Echelon 2 study. Um, now we also have uh, some evidence or data that uh, patients with angiomenoblastic T-cell lymphoma seem to be um, particularly sensitive to epigenetic modifying agents such as histamine deacetylase inhibitors as well as hypomethylating agents. And that um, suggests that maybe we should be using one of these agents uh, in the frontline setting. Um, and there's a study that we're participating with, which is run by Dr. Jia Ruan from Cornell, um, in which it's looking at the combination of uh, oral azacitidine in combination with CHOP. And the idea of this combination is really to try to reverse chemo resistance by using the azacitidine um, and so patients receive start off with azacitidine and then they and then they get chop chemotherapy um, but this this regimen also just um, it, I believe is probably uniquely important for patients with angiomenoblastic T cell lymphoma given that they um, this is the subset of T cell lymphoma that tends to um, potentially respond to hypomethylating agents and so we're particularly aiming to enrich the study for patients with this disease and I hope that this will be um, a, a good regimen for for these patients that and and will hopefully eventually aim to improve their overall outcomes.